In this video, I will attempt to explain why an aspiring designer, mechanical or manufacturing engineer would want to subscribe and view all of the videos on this channel and frequent the material found on the CADmodelinghub.com website. The five design and computer-aided design skills, applications, automation, customization, and PLM classes I have taught at Brigham Young University have enabled mechanical engineering graduates to accept engineering jobs that normally require four to five years of industrial experience. These classes have given the BYU students a tremendous advantage when seeking employment upon graduation. Each year, I have taught over 300 freshman students the subject of engineering design, modeling, and graphics. For more than 32 years, I have watched with excitement as these students matriculate into sophomore level classes where they are taught and allowed to physically manufacture and assemble designs from their freshman CAD course. As juniors, a group of these students will take the one-of-a-kind parametric computer-aided engineering applications course. Students learn state-of-the-art modeling and analysis methods that fast-track them into a wide selection of aerospace, automotive, marine, and consumer product internships. Following these four, six, and eight-month internships, Many of these students choose as a technical elective the course Customization and Automation of CAD Tools. It is in this class that I teach engineering students to programmatically extend the CAD and analysis applications, adding new functionality and applications not previously found in the commercial CAD offering. The other classes I teach are for graduate students only and focus on PLM and its customization. And finally, the development of next generation multi-user collaborative design analysis and manufacturing systems. Through the use of the internet, I can now bring my design, modeling, and CAD principles and skills-based courses to the interested students from around the world. Now, the serious or casual engineering student can move at their own pace and glean this unique set of engineering knowledge and skills. You control the pace of the videos. You control how many times you replay a given segment of a lecture or tutorial. You control act, how active you post your efforts to cadmodelinghub.com. In the words of Malcolm Gladwell, best-selling author of Outliers, working really hard is what successful people do. So let's begin with a little background on the Engineering Design, Modeling, and Graphics course. It has always been a rigorous, demanding class taken by freshmen over a 16-week semester. However, in this digital format, the students are in control of their own schedule. I invite you to spend as much time mastering the concepts, principles, and techniques as you can afford. If you are consistent and dedicated, this course will become one of the greatest assets as you apply for internships and full-time employment. As described in the introductory video, the subsequent series of lectures and tutorials grouped 
under the playlist, Engineering Design, Modeling, and Graphics, will focus on the design aspects of three-dimensional CAD models and the reading and creating of two-dimensional engineering drawings. You are free to view these lectures and tutorials in any order. However, my recommendation is to follow the order of the playlist or what is published on the CADmodelinghub.com website. While you are on my website, make sure you subscribe to receive updates and the latest instructions on new lectures and tutorials. I am sure you are wondering what topics will be covered in this course. Well, put simply, you will learn the principles and techniques of mechanical design focused on building accurate, reusable models and using those models to create engineering graphics, meaning the drawings and PMI models from which manufacturers create the physical parts and products. You will learn how to create accurate, precise, three-dimensional surface and solid models using a modern computer-aided design or CAD system. You will digitally create part models, then using those constructed parts, build digital assemblies or collections of your mechanical parts with specific interfaces, mating conditions, and behavior rules. You will also be taught the engineering graphics language and standards and how to apply them correctly in the creation of part and assembly drawings. You will also be introduced to the concept of PMI, product and manufacturing information which replaces 2D drawings and applies the graphics language to dimensioning and tolerancing of 3D CAD models. Now is a good time to pause this video and use another web browser page to go to cadmodelinghub.com. While there, subscribe so you will not miss any new or update updated material. You'll be kept up to date on our CAD certifications levels and programs. After registering, make sure you return and finish this introductory video. Welcome back. Before taking the break to get you subscribed, I had used the term mechanical components a number of times. What are mechanical components? Simply stated, they are components of systems, machines, or machinery. If you were to Google CAD models engine transmission, we would see a page similar to this. A transmission is a component of a car. And if we click on one of these transmissions, we see more clearly the mechanical components that make up the transmission. There are gears, shafts, bearings, bushings, forks, levers, cases, discs, etc. In addition, assemblies like this transmission have lots of hardware which is the general term used to refer to nuts, bolts, washers, pins, clips, etc. Another way to understand what mechanical components are and their drawings is to understand what they are not. This is a simple rendering of a house I found on the internet. It is sitting on an architectural plan or drawing. This course will not teach or assign architectural problems. This is an electrical schematic I found on the internet. 
While a good mechanical engineer can read and interpret this drawing, electrical schematics will not be something you will be asked to create. This shows a web page filled with pipe drawings and schematics. Again, a good mechanical engineer could read and interpret any of, this, any of these models and drawings. Many mechanical assemblies, for example a car, will have lots of pipes and tubes carrying fluids to various areas of the vehicle, like brakes, gas lines, or cooling and heating hoses. In general, pipe models, layouts, and drawings are not covered in a basic engineering design modeling and graphics course, but can be taken as a specialization. The design of structural steel models and schematics are the subject of civil engineering courses and will not be covered in this mechanical engineering class. That takes us to this web page, which shows models and drawings of aerospace systems and components. Aerospace systems are comprised of dozens, if not tens of thousands, of mechanical assemblies and components. In this course, I will use models and drawings from the aerospace sector. I will also use examples from, from automotive, machinery, and heavy equipment, and consumer product industries. In summary, what is this? It is a mechanical system or assembly. It is made up of mechanical components comprised of gears, shafts, discs, cases, plates, and hardware. What is hardware? Hardware is a general classification of things such as bolts, washers, springs, etc. Things major manufacturing companies generally purchase rather than make. This concludes our discussion of mechanical components and systems. Thank you.